you know how they tell you if when you find the one you love, you'll just know. I never had context for that you'll just know until I got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> when you proposed? It's like, you, you know it for sure. I feel it like I felt COVID. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like my symptoms were so mild. I have sort of this weird reaction when people say, I'm so sorry, or I'm glad you got through it. I feel like probably the way someone would feel if they served in Iraq, but they only worked in the cafeteria. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're like, thank you for your service. I'm like, I just cooked. I didn't do, I didn't shoot anybody. I was in the middle of the hotspot. I mean, I was living in Brooklyn, taking the subway to Manhattan, working four to six shows a night, sharing a mic with several other comics, being in basement comedy clubs. And then also I work at a gym three days a week where I was wrapping 10 to 15 people's hands every day. I was swimming in it. For the listeners, what was the name of the clinic in Huntington Beach? Oh, it was Elevated Health. Sounds like a marijuana. <laughs> yeah, you're right, it does. It totally sounds like a clinic. <laughs> Elevated. Right. <laughs> Things like eating sugar raise inflammation. We've seen that in lab studies that if you cut down sugar and carbohydrates, the inflammatory levels do go down in the blood. Now is not the time to be going on sugar binges and stuff. Yeah. Which is what everybody's doing. <laughs> <laughs> right? One of my friends was talking about how much more weed he smokes. And I called him, I go, just go to edibles right now. Right. You know what I mean? Just give your lungs a break right now and keep them strong just in case. Yeah, you know? I think well, that's fair. And I remember this thing my grandfather used to say. He said, history may not repeat itself, but it sure does rhyme. We've had an experience with the novel virus before. And even though 1918 is different than it is now, right after that pandemic was over, we had the roaring 20s. That's awesome. Not only will we come back, but we'll come back even stronger. It's a very we'll likely- go straight that to happen. that depression, and then we'll go straight to World War III. <laughs> And then we'll go to Vietnam part two and we'll just keep doing the damn thing. But <laughs> well, we'll be rhyming when we do it. I was worried if I'd be able to be funny after. That was like a legit concern. And now you, you have no idea because you haven't done a show. So <laughs> I know. I don't know. <laughs> this podcast looks like it could be commercial for air conditioner. So <laughs>